prepare to uncover the hidden scandals of a true Hollywood icon. Carol Lombard, known for her glamour and charm, led a life full of twists and turns that were kept under wraps. From her signature tomboy style to her journey to capturing Gable's heart, this actress's story is far from typical. Behind the scenes, Lombard's life was filled with marriages, affairs, and even a well-guarded secret child. These scandals were hidden from the public, leaving many to wonder why. One might assume that the silver screen would be the perfect place to air such secrets, but even it couldn't keep hidden the shocking truth about this classic star. So, why were Carol Lombard's scandals kept under wraps? The answer lies in the intricate details of her life, both on and off the screen. From personal anecdotes to complex relationships, this actress's story is one that will leave you yearning for more. Carol Lombard was a shining star in Hollywood's golden age, captivating audiences during the Great Depression with her unique blend of slapstick comedy and sunny disposition. Unlike many of her contemporaries, she steered clear of diva drama and was known for her helpful and cheerful presence both on and off the screen. Born on October 6, 1908, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, Lombard started her career in the early 1920s as a teenager. She began as an extra in silent films before transitioning to talkies and quickly made a name for herself as a comedic actress. One of Lombard's most notable roles was in the 1934 film 20th Century, where she starred alongside John Barrymore. The film was a critical and commercial success, and Lombard's performance was widely praised. Lombard's talent for comedy was not limited to the big screen. She was also a popular radio personality and often appeared on shows such as The Chase and Sanborn Hour and Lux Radio Theater. Despite her success, Lombard remained humble and approachable. She was known for her generosity and often went out of her way to help those in need. In fact, she was posthumously awarded the Medal of Freedom for her efforts during World War II, when she sold war bonds and raised millions of dollars for the cause. Tragically, Lombard's life was cut short when she died in a plane crash in 1942 at the age of 33. However, her legacy lives on, and she is still remembered as one of Hollywood's greatest leading ladies. Screenwriter Edward F. Klein once described Lombard as a perpetually sunny presence in Hollywood, and that is a fitting tribute to this classic actress. Her talent, generosity, and positive attitude continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Carol Lombard was an actress who lived and worked in a different era, one where women were expected to embody grace and femininity. She, like many of her peers, navigated a world with strict societal expectations. However, unlike some other actresses who were associated with scandal, Lombard seemed to glide through her career without a smudge on her reputation. During her time, women in the public eye were often judged harshly for their personal lives. While Lombard didn't have a completely squeaky clean rap sheet, she managed to avoid the kind of negative attention that other actresses received. She was known for her charm and her ability to be a graceful partner to the men in her life, both on and off the screen. In contrast, actresses like Elizabeth Taylor were often associated with scandal and controversy. While both Lombard and Taylor were successful in their careers, their public images were quite different. Lombard was able to maintain a more traditional, feminine image, while Taylor was often portrayed as a more modern, independent woman. Despite these differences, both Lombard and Taylor made significant contributions to the world of film. They were both talented actresses who left their mark on the industry in their own unique ways. While Lombard may not have been as controversial as some of her peers, she was still a force to be reckoned with in her own right. In the end, Carol Lombard was a classic example of a woman who was able to succeed in a challenging industry while still maintaining her grace and femininity. She was a true talent, and her contributions to the world of film continue to be celebrated today. In the early years of her career, Carol Lombard faced a significant setback. A car accident in 1926 left her with scars, but she was determined to hide them. She managed her image carefully, using makeup and lighting to conceal the marks. This unwavering resolve showcased her strength and determination even in the face of painful recovery. Despite these early challenges, Lombard's talent was soon recognized by director Max Sennett. He cast her in greater roles, leading to wider recognition. Her career began to gain momentum, and she was eventually propelled forward by Paramount Pictures. They provided her with acting, singing, and dancing lessons, further enhancing her skills and versatility. Lombard's story is one of resilience and determination. Despite the physical scars from the accident, she remained focused on her career and her craft. Her talent was recognized and nurtured, leading to a successful career in Hollywood.
The actress's journey serves as a reminder of the power of perseverance and the importance of seizing opportunities when they arise. Carol Lombard, born as Jane Alice Peters on October 6, 1908, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, came from a prosperous family. However, her childhood was far from easy. She was a tomboy and had to deal with her father's brain injury, which led to anger issues. As she grew older, she found solace in the world of acting. In 1931, during the Great Depression, she collaborated with William Powell in Man of the World. This collaboration marked a significant point in her personal life, as it led to their marriage in the same year. Despite the challenges she faced in her early life, Lombard's determination and talent shone through in her acting career. Her work with Powell was just the beginning of a successful journey in the film industry. In 1914, Carol Lombard's mother, seeing potential in her daughter, made a bold move to Los Angeles. She was convinced that her daughter had star quality, even though Carol herself was more drawn to sports during her early years. At the age of 12, an unexpected opportunity presented itself for the young Carol. During a boxing match with her brothers, she was discovered by director Alan Dwan. This chance encounter led to her first film role in A Perfect Crime in 1921. It was the beginning of a journey that would shape her future and leave a lasting impression in the world of cinema. Despite the early start, Carol's path to stardom was not without its challenges. However, her natural talent and the determination she inherited from her mother propelled her forward. As she navigated the ups and downs of the film industry, she remained focused and dedicated to her craft. Throughout her career, Carol Lombard would become known for her versatility and unique charm. Her early discovery in that boxing match proved to be a significant turning point, setting the stage for a successful career in Hollywood. The actress's legacy continues to resonate with film enthusiasts, inspiring new generations to pursue their dreams and embrace their own star quality. Carol Lombard's early acting career began at the age of 16 when Fox Studios recognized her potential. She was candid about her inexperience, but her natural talent was evident. Over time, she honed her craft and showcased her versatility in various roles by the late 1920s. During this period, Lombard found herself working with Clark Gable, the reigning king of Hollywood. However, their initial encounters didn't spark a romantic connection, even though they were paired together in the film, No Man of Her Own. Despite the lack of sparks off-screen, their on-screen chemistry was undeniable. Lombard's journey in the film industry was just beginning, and her future collaborations with Gable would add another layer to her evolving career. The actress, still in her early 20s, was yet to reach the peak of her career, while Gable, in his 30s, was already an established star. Their paths crossing and no man of her own was just the beginning of a professional relationship that would later blossom into a romantic one. Carol Lombard, the actress known for her comedic roles, found herself in the midst of a scandal in 1935. At the time, she was married to William Powell, while her future lover, Clark Gable, was married to Joan Crawford. However, Gable and Lombard's paths crossed in a memorable way at the White Mayfair Ball. Lombard made a bold entrance to the ball, dressed in a hospital gown, which caught Gable's attention. Despite his initial lack of interest in the actress, her daring appearance sparked a closer relationship between the two. It's worth noting that Gable was not looking for a new romance, as he was still married to Crawford. However, Lombard's confidence and unconventional style left a lasting impression on him. Their affair was a well-kept secret for some time, as both actors were married to other people. Despite the potential consequences, their relationship continued to blossom, marking a significant moment in both of their personal and professional lives. The White Mayfair Ball incident and the subsequent affair between Lombard and Gable remain a notable moment in Hollywood history, showcasing the complex and sometimes scandalous nature of relationships in the film industry. Carol Lombard, the actress known for her comedic roles, initially rejected Clark Gable's advances. However, she later sent doves as a peace offering, which led to their romantic involvement. The two shared a down-to-earth quality that kept Gable entertained and prevented him from straying. Lombard's rejection of Gable's advances at the beginning of their relationship was not uncommon for the actress. She was known for her independence and strong-willed personality, both on and off the screen. However, her eventual acceptance of Gable's affections marked the beginning of a romantic relationship that would last until her untimely death. The similarities between Lombard and Gable went beyond their shared down-to-earth personalities. Both actors were known for their talent and charisma, and they quickly became one of Hollywood's most beloved couples. Lombard, in particular, 
was a trailblazer for women in Hollywood, paving the way for future generations of actresses with her fierce determination and unapologetic attitude. Despite the challenges that came with their high-profile relationship, Lombard and Gable remained devoted to each other until the end. Lombard was the only woman who could keep Gable entertained enough not to stray, and their love for each other was evident to all who knew them. In the end, Carol Lombard's rejection of Gable's advances only served to strengthen their relationship. Through their shared qualities and mutual respect, they became one of Hollywood's most iconic couples, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Carol Lombard, the actress known for her caring nature, had her own experiences with fame and personal life. At the same time that Lombard was making headlines, her co-star, Clark Gable, fathered a child with Loretta Young. This child, Judy Lewis, was kept a secret for 31 years. Imagine the shock Judy must have felt when she discovered the truth before her wedding, sparking a journey of self-discovery. It's possible that Lombard, with her understanding and empathetic personality, might have extended compassion to Judy had she known the truth. Lombard's own life was not without its scandals and personal struggles. Despite this, she remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, admired for her talent and spirit. It's not difficult to imagine her offering a kind word or gesture to Judy, acknowledging the unique challenges she faced. The bond between Custers and the compassion that can exist between them is a beautiful thing. While we can only speculate about how Lombard might have reacted to Judy's situation, it's clear that she was an actress who understood the complexities of fame and personal life. Her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Carol Lombard and Clark Gable's relationship was a rare gem in Hollywood sky, a bond that went beyond the silver screen. The actress, known for her authenticity and genuine nature, found a kindred spirit in Gable. Their personalities created a symphony of emotions, making them one of the most glamorous and beloved couples in Hollywood. Lombard, a trailblazer in her own right, navigated the twists and turns of Hollywood with grace and determination. Her ability to stay true to herself amidst the pressures of the industry was a testament to her strength and character. She was not just an actress. She was a symbol of authenticity and genuine warmth in an industry often criticized for its superficiality. The couple's relationship was a breath of fresh air in the often tumultuous world of Hollywood. They were not just a publicity stunt or a fleeting romance, their bond was profound, a testament to their mutual respect and admiration for each other. Despite the pressures of Hollywood, they managed to maintain a strong and loving relationship until Lombard's untimely death. Lombard's legacy extends beyond her relationship with Gable. She left an indelible mark on the film industry with her performances in classics such as 20th Century and My Man Godfrey still captivating audiences today. Her ability to balance comedy and drama to be both funny and heartbreaking made her a unique talent in Hollywood. In the end, Carol Lombard's legacy is one of authenticity, love, and respect. She was a woman who stayed true to herself, who found love in an unlikely place, and who left a lasting impact on the film industry. Her story is a reminder that behind the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, there are real people with real emotions, people who are capable of profound love and respect. Carol Lombard was a trailblazing actress who left an indelible mark on Hollywood. Born on October 6, 1908, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, she began her career on the stage before transitioning to silent films in the 1920s. Lombard's big break came in 1934 when she starred in 20th Century alongside John Barrymore. Her comedic timing and quick wit earned her critical acclaim and cemented her status as a leading lady. Throughout the 1930s and 1940s, Lombard continued to shine in both comedic and dramatic roles. She was known for her versatility and ability to captivate audiences with her charisma and talent. In addition to her acting career, Lombard was also known for her humanitarian efforts. During World War II, she was an active volunteer and fundraiser for the Red Cross and the Hollywood Canteen. Tragically, Lombard's life was cut short when she died in a plane crash in 1942 at the age of 33. Despite her untimely death, her legacy continues to resonate with fans and industry professionals alike. Carol Lombard's impact on Hollywood was undeniable. She paved the way for future actresses and left behind a body of work that continues to be celebrated today. Her story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring appeal of a true Hollywood legend. Carol Lombard, born on October 6, 1908, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, was the daughter of Frederick C. Peterson and Elizabeth Knight. 
Her father was a wealthy businessman, and her mother was a stage actress. Lombard's childhood was comfortable, but it was her mother's early acting experiences that first exposed her to the world of entertainment. At the age of 12, Lombard's mother passed away, and she was sent to live with her grandparents in Los Angeles. It was there that she developed an interest in acting, often attending plays and films. She would sneak into movie studios to observe the filming process, which further fueled her passion for acting. Lombard's early exposure to acting and her mother's influence led her to pursue a career in the entertainment industry. She started her career as an extra in silent films and later transitioned to talking pictures. Her natural talent and charisma quickly caught the attention of studio executives, and she began to receive more significant roles. In the late 1920s, Lombard met and married actor William Powell, who became a significant influence in her career. Powell encouraged Lombard to take acting classes and coached her in various acting techniques. Under his guidance, Lombard's acting skills improved significantly, and she became a sought-after actress in Hollywood. Lombard's career continued to flourish throughout the 1930s and 1940s. She starred in numerous films, including My Man Godfrey, Nothing Sacred, and To Be or Not To Be. Her comedic timing, versatility, and natural charisma made her a beloved figure in Hollywood. In conclusion, Carol Lombard's background, upbringing, and early exposure to acting played a significant role in her successful career as an actress. Her mother's influence, her experiences in Los Angeles, and her marriage to William Powell all contributed to her development as a talented and versatile actress. Carol Lombard's creative spark was ignited at a young age. Born on October 6, 1908, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, she was just a teenager when she first experienced the thrill of performing. She was a natural entertainer, often putting on shows for her family and friends. Her mother, a talented musician, encouraged Carol's interest in the arts. One day, while attending a party in Los Angeles, Carol was discovered by a casting director. She was just 16 years old. This chance encounter marked the beginning of her journey in the world of acting. Despite her young age, Carol was determined to make a name for herself in Hollywood. Carol's first film role was in a silent movie called A Perfect Crime. Although her part was small, she was determined to make the most of it. She spent hours studying the craft of acting, watching movies, and practicing her lines. Her hard work paid off, and she quickly landed more roles in various films. Carol's big break came in 1934 when she starred in the comedy 20th Century alongside John Barrymore. Her performance was a critical and commercial success, and she became one of the most sought-after actresses in Hollywood. Carol's passion for acting was fueled by her love of entertaining and her desire to connect with audiences. She once said, I love making people laugh. It's the best feeling in the world. Her infectious energy and charisma shone through in every role she played, making her a beloved figure in Hollywood. Carol's legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and entertainers to this day. Her creative spark, passion, and determination serve as a reminder that with hard work and dedication, anyone can achieve their dreams. Carol Lombard, born on October 6, 1908, in Fort Wayne, Indiana, faced significant challenges on her path to becoming a successful actress. Raised in a family that struggled financially, Lombard's early life was marked by instability. Her father's untimely death when she was just 12 years old further complicated her family situation. Despite these hardships, Lombard was determined to pursue a career in acting. She moved to Los Angeles at the age of 16, where she faced skepticism from industry insiders who doubted her potential. Undeterred, Lombard worked tirelessly to hone her craft, taking on small roles and learning from more experienced actors. One of the creative solutions Lombard found to overcome these obstacles was to learn how to do her own stunts. This not only set her apart from other actresses, but also demonstrated her commitment to her craft. Lombard's willingness to take risks and push boundaries helped her to establish herself as a force to be reckoned with in the industry. Another challenge Lombard faced was the public's perception of her. She was often typecast as a ditzy blonde, a stereotype that she worked hard to overcome. Lombard's ability to portray complex and nuanced characters helped her to break free from this limiting mold and establish herself as a serious actress. Throughout her career, Lombard faced numerous obstacles, from financial struggles to industry skepticism. However, her resilience and determination helped her to overcome these challenges and leave a lasting legacy in the world of film. Her ability to think creatively and push boundaries helped her to establish herself as a trailblazer in the industry, paving the way for future generations of actresses. Carol Lombard's career was marked by several breakthrough moments. In 1934, 
She starred in 20th Century with John Barrymore, a screwball comedy that showcased her impeccable timing and comedic skills. This role catapulted her to stardom and established her as a leading lady in Hollywood. A few years later, in 1936, Lombard took on a more serious role in My Man Godfrey, a film that gained critical acclaim and further solidified her reputation as a versatile actress. Her performance was praised for its depth and subtlety, a departure from her usual comedic roles. In 1939, Lombard produced and starred in Made for Each Other, a romantic comedy that was a box office success. This achievement marked a significant milestone in her career as it demonstrated her business acumen and creative control in Hollywood. Throughout her career, Lombard was known for her ability to adapt to various roles and genres. Her peers, critics, and collaborators often spoke of her infectious energy, dedication, and professionalism on set. Her contributions to the film industry continue to resonate today, leaving a lasting impact on the tapestry of Hollywood's golden age. Carol Lombard, the Hollywood actress, was known for her unique artistic vision and process. She approached her work with a great deal of dedication and hard work. Lombard's style was natural and unaffected, which made her stand out in an industry that often rewarded artificiality. Her personal experiences and worldview were often reflected in her work. For instance, her childhood in Fort Wayne, Indiana, shaped her down-to-earth personality, which came through in her performances. Similarly, her experiences as a working woman in Hollywood influenced her feminist views, which were evident in her choice of roles and her advocacy for women's rights. Lombard's approach to acting was unconventional for her time. She believed in improvisation and often ad-libbed her lines, which gave her performances a fresh and spontaneous quality. She also worked closely with her directors and co-stars, collaborating with them to create believable and engaging characters. One of Lombard's most notable qualities was her ability to balance comedy and drama. She could switch effortlessly between the two, often within the same film. This versatility made her a favorite among audiences and critics alike. Despite her success, Lombard remained grounded and humble. She was known for her kindness and generosity, both on and off the set. Her warm personality and infectious laugh made her a beloved figure in Hollywood, and her tragic death in a plane crash at the age of 33 was deeply mourned by her colleagues and fans. In conclusion, Carol Lombard was a unique and talented actress who left a lasting impact on Hollywood. Her natural and unaffected style, combined with her ability to balance comedy and drama, made her a favorite among audiences and critics. Her personal experiences and worldview were reflected in her work, and her collaborative approach to acting made her a joy to work with. Lombard's legacy continues to inspire actors and filmmakers today. Carol Lombard was a trailblazing actress who made significant contributions to the film industry. She is often remembered for her comedic roles, but her impact goes beyond that. Lombard was one of the first actresses to form her own production company, giving her more control over her career and paving the way for future generations of actresses. Industry expert Molly Haskell describes Lombard as ahead of her time and a feminist before her time. Lombard's ability to balance comedy and drama in her roles was groundbreaking and inspired many actresses who followed in her footsteps. Lombard's influence can also be seen in the techniques used by filmmakers. Her use of physical comedy and facial expressions helped to shape the way comedic scenes were filmed and acted. Director Peter Bogdanovich, who worked with Lombard on the film To Be or Not To Be, said that she had a great sense of timing and a wonderful sense of humor. In addition to her impact on the industry, Lombard also influenced trends in storytelling. Her willingness to take on challenging roles and tackle social issues in her films helped to break down barriers and push the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in Hollywood. Actress and Lombard fan Sarah Paulson said that Lombard's fearlessness and willingness to take risks is what makes her so inspiring. She wasn't afraid to be funny, but she also wasn't afraid to be serious and tackle important issues, Paulson said. Lombard's influence can still be felt in the industry today. Her legacy as a trailblazing actress and producer continues to inspire and influence filmmakers and actresses alike. As Haskell puts it, Carol Lombard was a true original and her impact on the film industry is still being felt today. Carol Lombard, the Hollywood star known for her comedic roles, led a life full of passion and dedication both on and off the screen. She was born on October 6, 1908, in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Lombard's personal values and interests often intertwined with her professional career. Lombard was an animal lover and advocated for their welfare. 
She even owned several pets, including dogs and horses. This passion for animals sometimes found its way into her films, such as My Man Godfrey where she shared screen time with a dog. Philanthropy was another significant aspect of Lombard's life. She was actively involved in various charitable causes, most notably the Red Cross. During World War II, she dedicated her time and resources to supporting the war effort, even selling war bonds at events across the country. Her personal values also influenced her approach to work. Lombard was known for her professionalism and dedication, often going above and beyond to ensure the success of her films. She was also a strong advocate for women's rights in the film industry, using her influence to fight for equal pay and opportunities for her female colleagues. In addition to her acting career and philanthropic efforts, Lombard was an avid reader and enjoyed painting. These hobbies not only brought her joy but also influenced her work, contributing to her creativity and artistic expression. Carol Lombard's life was a testament to her passions and values, which she integrated seamlessly into her professional and personal spheres. Carol Lombard was a trailblazer in the world of acting, known for her versatile roles and captivating performances. She started her career in the 1920s and quickly made a name for herself with her comedic timing and dramatic flair. Lombard's legacy continues to resonate in the industry today. Her ability to adapt to different roles and genres made her a true icon of classic Hollywood. She was not afraid to take on challenging parts and push the boundaries of what was expected of actresses at the time. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Lombard would likely offer this advice never stop learning and growing as an artist. Take risks and don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. And most importantly, always stay true to yourself and your craft. As for the future, Lombard would likely encourage aspiring professionals to embrace new technologies and mediums. While she may not have been able to imagine a world with streaming services and social media, she would no doubt be excited by the endless possibilities they present. In short, Carol Lombard's legacy is one of versatility, adaptability, and trailblazing spirit. Her advice for aspiring professionals is to embody these qualities and always strive to push the boundaries of what is possible in their field. Carol Lombard was an actress who left a significant mark on the entertainment industry. Born on October 6, 1988, she began her journey in film as a child. By the 1930s, she had become a major star, known for her comedic roles. Lombard's passion for acting was evident in every performance. She brought innovation to the screen, challenging traditional norms and pushing boundaries. Her talent was undeniable, and she quickly became a household name. Throughout her career, Lombard starred in numerous films, including 20th Century and My Man Godfrey. She worked with some of the biggest names in Hollywood, and her performances were always memorable. Lombard's impact on the entertainment industry was significant. She proved that women could be funny and successful in a male-dominated field. Her enduring legacy continues to inspire actors today. In the end, Carol Lombard's passion, innovation, and creativity made her a true icon in the world of entertainment. Her story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the enduring impact of creativity. Carol Lombard was a true trailblazer in Hollywood's golden age. Born on October 6, 1908, she started her career in silent films and quickly made a name for herself with her comedic timing and sparkling personality. Lombard's work spanned over two decades, and she became known for her versatility in both comedic and dramatic roles. In the 1930s, she starred in a series of screwball comedies, including 20th Century and My Man Godfrey, which showcased her quick wit and impeccable comedic timing. But Lombard was more than just a comedic actress. She also tackled dramatic roles with ease, earning critical acclaim for her performances in films like Nothing Sacred and Made for Each Other. Lombard's legacy extends beyond her work on the silver screen. She was also known for her independent spirit and strong-willed personality. She was one of the first actresses to form her own production company, and she was a vocal advocate for women's rights and workers' rights in the film industry. Despite her untimely death in 1942, Carol Lombard's work and legacy continue to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Her contributions to the world of entertainment are a testament to her talent, versatility, and enduring spirit. So, let's take a moment to appreciate the life and work of this remarkable actress. Share your thoughts on Carol Lombard's films and legacy in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the creative spirits shaping energy.